e.l.f. beauty wands versus Charlotte Tilbury beauty wands. e.l.f. has done it again. Let's see if these are dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury. We have the liquid contour beauty wand, the beauty light high blush wand, the beauty light wand highlighter by Charlotte Tilbury. Every Halo Glow beauty wand from e.l.f. is nine US dollars versus Charlotte Tilbury, $42 for each beauty wand. There's a little bit more in Charlotte Tilbury. It's 0.40 or 0.4 fluid ounces versus e.l.f. 0.33 fluid ounces. Oh, I'm excited. I already have my base on. I have my concealer, my eyebrows, my eyes done. All I need to do is the contour, the blush, and the highlight. Let's jump in. We're gonna keep e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wands on the left side, Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wands on the right side. Beginning with contour, let's see if this is a good beauty dupe for Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. The e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Contour Wands, it features five shades, a lot more inclusive than Charlotte Tilbury. It only has two shades. I have first one light medium and I'm gonna quickly swatch. And then we have fair light, which does look a lot more cool toned rather than warm. And this does have 2% squalane. Each of the Halo Glow Beauty Wands have 2% squalane. There you go, you can see a big difference. Both of these are e.l.f., just different colors. So fair light, definitely very cool tone. It's gonna give me more of that shadow dimension versus light medium. I could use this more as like my bronzer, but also sculpt my, sculpt my face at the same time. And that's Charlotte Tilbury. Very different. It's definitely darker, but more cool tone. So this one, it's kind of like this for me where it's in between sculpting, but also adding warmth to my complexion. So I don't have to go in with the bronzer after the Charlotte Tilbury. But the one thing with application, I will say, I like to best apply it with more of like a dense uh, bronzer or like a cream bronzer brush. I don't like to use a very fluffy brush because I find that it's a little more diffused than I would want it to be. So I want a little more concentration. First, let's go with e.l.f. And e.l.f. has, it says, a radiant sculpted finish. I'm not seeing any kind of like glitter or shimmer, but it does feel really nice. Almost has like a gel consistency. And Charlotte just feels a little more wet. I'm gonna go in right away and start blending this in. And I'm gonna use my e.l.f. The Complexion Duo Brush. And for liquid products, I don't like to let them sit on my skin because I find that they like to stick in those areas. I'm gonna take a little bit of that Fair to light right here and right here. And then I'm gonna take the light to medium closer up here because I don't really like to take really cool tone shades on my forehead. But this is a really pretty tone, wow. It's blending in really nice, but again, I'm not letting it sit in my skin. It's extremely natural looking, wow. I'm gonna add a little bit of the medium, the, the light to medium color just right here. You can see a difference. See how it warmed up my complexion rather than adding depth and shadows. This actually looks like a bronzer on my face. Let's go with Charlotte Tilbury on the right side. And with this, I don't need much because it is pigmented, but it does blend out really nice. Is it the pencil one? All right, so you can see a difference. Remember when I told you I use this as my contour, as my sculptor and my bronzer in one? This is why. It's not extremely cool toned. It adds a nice depth and shadow, but it also like adds warmth back to my complexion versus this side. It looks extremely natural on the e.l.f. side with the Halo Beauty Wand contour. Almost looks like I have some cheekbones. It doesn't look like I have a contour on my cheeks. And this Charlotte Tilbury contour one, it has a natural finish, not a radiant. But both sides look pretty even to me. It's just Charlotte Tilbury's. It looks a little more sculpted and a little more bronzed. And again, blending everything out right away. I'm gonna go back on this side to the e.l.f., add a little bit of the light to medium shade right there. And just switching brushes back to the e.l.f. But you can see how easy that is. That looks a little better. I find that Charlotte Tilbury's liquid contour wears really well because once it sets, it sets. So I'm hoping the e.l.f. is going to do the exact same thing. Let's move on to blushes. So the blushes with Charlotte Tilbury, she does have the new matte blushes, but 
the e.l.f. they're very radiant and glowy that's why i'm gonna stick with this one in charlotte tilbury's beauty light wand high blush in shade pink gasm and i do have two shades for blushes from e.l.f. so we'll see which one looks best this one in particular is called berry radiant they have a very thick consistency wow very uh almost whipped they're not very fluid. And then we have Rose Yusle <laughs> color, just a little bit lighter. Okay, and then the Charlotte Tilbury. I would say Charlotte's feels a little more silky. It doesn't feel as thick. Alrighty, let's do it. Let me see how they recommend to apply these. So just like I was thinking, either your fingertips or kind of like a more of a dense blush brush. Going with my fingertips. Honestly, you don't even need a highlighter after this. These are very, very radiant, extremely luminous. In a good way, I'm not saying anything bad. Why is there a line right here? Do you guys see that? What is that? I'm trying to fix it with my brush. I honestly have no idea what happened. I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics, the Heavenly Lux brush. It's kind of like the e.l.f. brush that I was using for the contour. It's very, very wet. It's very radiant, very glowy. It looks like it's doing good, except I don't know what happened here. I wanna roll back the tape and see if I did something or if I just didn't blend it in good enough. Let's go with the Charlotte Tilbury's. And this one, I know it's not extremely pigmented. You can build this up to a point to make it look like a intense blush shade. But from my experience, it's more of like a blush topper in a way. See what I mean? It kind of just becomes more of like a highlighter with a tint of pink to it. But this is extremely glowy. I mean, you could see how glowy that is versus the e.l.f. It's a little more patchy I'm seeing on the left side. Let's go in with a little bit of the Berry Radiant. I feel like I'm having kind of hard, hard time. Look at that blending that out it's like leaving like a shadow so far i like the contour ones from elf not so much the blushes i'm having a harder time with these blushes i don't know what's happening i feel like i'm starting to lose quite a bit of product on the side it's looking very patchy okay so i tried to fix the contour but it's starting to pick up and it's starting to look very patchy underneath even though it's already dry. This is the weirdest and strangest thing ever. Look at that. It's like a line right here. That's weird. Versus this side, Charlotte Tilbury looks really good. What are you doing, ma'am? I'm gonna have to restart. So we're gonna take it off and we're gonna redo it. I'm mixing both colors at the same time to hopefully get similar results as the Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm not putting a ton of pressure. I'm just kind of letting do the Letting the brush do its thing. Yeah, I think that blush is picking up the product. Don't like that. You know what? Beauty sponge. And then I'll just work it into the brush. Look at that. So much better. Why don't I just go with my instinct? You can see it definitely is picking up the product underneath where the contour is. And then to layer it, it doesn't layer really well. So that's unfortunate, but <laughs> okay. Best application, apply the Halo Beauty blush wands to the back of your hand, work it in, warm up that formula, and then go in with your preferred brush, not your fingertips, your brush, and work it into the brush to really get the pigment and the blush in there, and then go to your cheekbones, because look at that. That looks so much better. Moving on to the Halo Glow their beauty wand in their highlighter. I got shade Champagne. The Charlotte Tilbury is the beauty light wand for the easy highlighter. I have shade Spotlight. Colors are almost identical. And you can see right away a difference. It's not as patchy. It's a little more soft. It's more uh, fluid, but both look really pretty. And with these highlighters, I do like to use it with my fingers, my fingertips for the Charlotte Tilbury. So let's see if it's gonna work as good for the for the elf <laughs> even though i don't need highlighter just because everything is super glowy we're still going to use it very very minimal i'm sure you can build this up but i don't need to because my blush is so highlighted but it's more of a wet type of a look which it's exactly what i want from a liquid highlighter let's do the same thing with the charlotte tilbury and with the Charlotte, I don't need much because it is it packs a punch. It's a little more fluid. It's a little more lightweight. Charlotte Tilbury, it's a very pigmented elf. It's a lot more sheer. Just 
gently setting my skin with Say Beauty, the Airset Radiant Loose Setting Powder. Are the Halo Glow Beauty Wands by e.l.f. dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wands, the contour, the highlight, and the blush color. I think the best dupe out of all of these would have to go to the highlight because it does what it's supposed to do. Even the colors look almost identical. Champagne for e.l.f., Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight. Very similar colors. The only thing, Charlotte, it's a little more seamless. The pigment is a little more intense and it blends a little easier than the e.l.f. Beauty, the Halo Glow Wand. But I think this is the closest dupe in my opinion. Moving down to blushes, the big difference, the Charlotte Tilbury, it's a lot softer because it's more of a highlight. So you're not gonna get the very intense pink shade. The e.l.f. Beauty Blush Wands, the Halo Glow, the pigment is very intense. And the formula, it's very thick and you really have to work that formula to get the best results you guys saw the very first time, I don't know what happened on my cheeks, but I kept picking up the product and it just kind of just disappeared. So I had to redo my entire face on the left side to get similar results to the Charlotte Tilbury. Moving on to contours. <sighs> I think it's a good enough affordable option, but it's not a good dupe. I think if you're looking for a really good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, go for Milani. I think Milani has a lot more pigment in comparison to the e.l.f., but the e.l.f. is really good because you do have the really cool tone, so I think it's really good for really fair, pale skin tones. They're pretty easy to work with, but you guys saw I was trying to layer and it would not layer. I don't know if it's the blush combined, but this is from the same line, so I don't know why the blush would give problems to the contour. It doesn't really make any sense, but I did enjoy this e.l.f. Halo Glow, but I think I like the Milani more, and I will do a wear test just to see if I'm gonna lose any of that pigment or if it's still gonna look very glowy, very dewy, very wet, but still with pigment on my cheeks. This is what we're looking like. This is at least three hours later and we're very glowy. You can still see the pigment. I'm looking down at my camera and it's still, it's not as good on the elf side. It's still, it's a little patchy, but at least I don't have that weird line. And I will say the texture does look exaggerated as well, especially like right here. There's the Charlotte Tilbury. I think you also see quite a bit of texture. I will say, if you don't like texture on your cheeks, try the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beauty Beauty Wands. They're so much better, in my opinion, for texture. Alrighty, last and final update. I was just looking, and it looks like it has got a weird streak. I actually think it's rubbing off. Versus this side, Charlotte Tilbury still looks really good. I feel like it hasn't even budged whatsoever. Very smooth, very airbrush looking, very soft, but extremely glowy and dewy right here. Versus e.l.f., it looks like it's kind of moving places. It's not sitting where I would want it to sit. <laughs> I thought I'd be a lot more impressed. I went into this video very excited very intrigued because the Halo Glow Flawless Filter in comparison to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Hollywood Filter is incredible. Now on this side, on the other hand, the Halo Glow Beauty Wands versus the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wands, I don't think they're that good of dupes except for the highlighters. You can still see them on my cheeks, very glowy on e.l.f., very glowy on Charlotte. It's a little more glowy on Charlotte, but the contour, the blush highlighter, and then the highlighter outperformed the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wands, unfortunately. I will say that. They're not good dupes, but I'm gonna keep playing with that. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep playing with it and see if there are better products I could use them with or mix them with. I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for watching, spending time with me, and unfortunately this video didn't go in the direction that I thought it would or hoped it would, but I'm gonna leave it here and I'll keep you guys, of course, updated. We'll keep you guys updated in the post on our website, Moby Beauty Review, of how we wear it, how others wear it, and how they think it works for them, how it doesn't work for them, and so on. But I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.